everyone welcome back again to my channel so this is the continuation of my spring roll recipe so this is how I make the wrappers and as I said before it's a bit complicated so please if you are adventurous please keep on watching and I'll see you next time bye bye so for this recipe you need two cups of plain flour you also need three tablespoons of corn flour or corn starch you also need some water and salt to taste and also oil in a mixing bowl put two cups of plain flour it is also called all-purpose flour do not use self-raising flour please and then add three tablespoons of corn flour or corn starch it depends on where you live but it's the same thing and then add some salt next mix the dried ingredients together and now add the water gradually so just as you see on the video so you add the water until it forms a paste and that means it's a good beginning and then you add more water until you get this consist consistency sorry so it's watery it's because we are going to make thin wrappers and make sure you have no lumps now let's make the wrappers so put some oil on a tissue and smear it on the pan next pour some butter in the pan and let it spread evenly next let it cook for about one to two minutes until you see that the sides are starting to lift up and then lift it up with your hand and turn it on the other side then cook it for about 10 seconds and that's it and then put it on a plate and spread a bit of oil on it because it sticks so here I have finished all my wrappers and you can see that they are a bit shiny because I spread some oil on it to avoid them to stick to each other so that's how I do it okay so that's it so everyone this is how I prepare my uh, spring roll wrappers so this is homemade wrappers you can always use the already made ones okay i hope you enjoyed watching this video and please leave me a comment thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye bye i am now going to show you how i make spring rolls with already made wrappers so i got these ones from the chinese shop but i think you can get it from any supermarket so this is how it looks like once out of the packet so it's very thin what you have to do is cover it with a damp clean cloth so that it doesn't get dry next when you need it take one wrapper but do it gently because it's very very thin and it can break so take your time for it and then put it in front of you and cover the remaining back next add one or one and a half tablespoon of filling in the middle fold the top and roll it firmly and tightly twice next fold the two sides firmly and seal it so I showed you on the previous video how to make the seal and then roll it once or twice again and if you think there's not enough seal seal it but make sure there's no hole you can always wrap it twice if you think it's better so this is how it looks like you can now fry it <laughs> 